Ooh, looks like we're not gonna finish it without a fight. A fight from an old friend. Let's open this up. Whoa. Here we go. This is it. What's going on guys? My name is Vlusel and welcome back to Metroid Prime, part 12. In the last episode, it was a pretty chill episode just going around trying to find all the artif artifacts and in the meantime picking up some of those uh, stray missile expansions and the last energy tank we needed. And uh, I did the little research because I thought I would have to do a little off-camera grinding picking up all the leftover items but turns out all we need for 100% is uh 250 missiles and eight power bombs which we already have and so we have those already we have all the log scans and so all we're at is 97 percent and we just need to pick up the last two artifacts which uh, may bump us up to 100 we'll see but i do know we have everything we have all four of the beam combos wave buster super missile we have everything so if i don't get the secret ending i'm gonna be pretty mad but i do know the locations of the uh, last two artifacts that i was missing the last one is right here and a secret door that's hidden behind a secret wall and the last one will be in the phase on mines and so after we get those two we'll head over to the chozo temple and hopefully finish it off in this episode if not we'll break it up and uh next episode will probably be probably be uh much smaller for the finale and so we'll see hopefully i can end it all in this episode let's go ahead and get started all right so yeah here in pedrona's edge this wall right here is uh, a fake wall so we'll go ahead and bust it open Get the artifact inside. Chose the artifact acquired. I think this is, yeah, the artifact of spirit. 11th of 12. So that brings up to 98%. And so now, all we need to do is head over to Phase On Mines, get that last artifact, and we should be good. We should be good. Alright, here we are at Elite Research in the Phase On Mines, and this cage right here for an Elite Pirate is a made of Mendesium. So if we go out and break this open and fight this guy, should award us the artifact. Let's do it. Ooh, okay, this one is a little different. Okay, looks like, yeah, this is called a Phase On Elite Pirate. And so this one doesn't have one of those artillery cannons on its back. Really relies on that freaking surge attack that it has. Let me equip the power beam, get some super muscles on this thing. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Nice. Okay, maybe one more, maybe one more. Got it! Dude, I keep accidentally dodging, man. The dodge is so freaking sensitive. There we go. Sit down, big fella. Whew. That's the artifact of warrior right there. Let's go. So those are artifact acquired. This is the artifact of warrior, the sixth of twelve. Yes! And that gives us a hundred percent completion, baby. Oh, hundred percent on the items. Man, does that feel good? Seeing the yellow artifact, hundred percent completion, knowing we're good. We have all the scans, all the items. Just feels good. But with that, uh, I think now all that's left to do is head back to Town Overworld and to the Chozo, uh, Chozo Temple. So let's go ahead and get on with that. All right, boys, before we head off to the Chozo Temple, let's stock up one last time from the gunship. Yeah, make sure we're topped off on everything. Let's do this. Here we are, everyone, back at the Chozo Temple. Man, it's been, I don't know if this will be the finale or not, but it's just been such a wild ride playing this game again and remastered. I'm so glad to have done it with you guys along the way. But let's go ahead and finish this thing once and for all. Ooh, 
Looks like we're not gonna finish it without a fight. A fight from an old friend. Woohoo, man, that music, bro. Let's do this. Ridley, let's take him down. Meta Ridley, let's do this. All right, so just got a scan off this guy, and uh, Meta Ridley is a beast to be reckoned with, but luckily his chest piece is a weakness, so that's the main target we need to strike. Let's try and hit all the shots there. Let me equip the power beam, get some super muscles on him. I like this boss fight particularly for this fact. He's like using all of his airspace. Incoming! Comes in with some missile strafes or whatever. We just gotta get some good shots on him. Perfect. There we go. Like that one. Nice shot. Got all those missiles. Okay. Bye bye. All right. He's gonna come in front of the strafe. He's coming in front of the one. Oh my god. All right. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Fire. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Alright. Yeah, he's pretty good up close too. Melee combat. Ridley is a uh, force to be reckoned with. Come on, come on. Get a super missile off. He's gonna slam. Nice. Back away from him. Come on, come on. Where's he at? Bye, have a great time. Dude, this guy, he just appears for one second and then, like, disappears another. Come on. Incoming! Here he comes, here he comes. Woo! Oh my god, dude. Combine the laser and the freaking strafe. There he is. Fire. Get it, get it, get it. Get another one, get another one. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's try to fire another. Ah, okay. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh god, that's right on me. Woo! Oh my god, alright. There he is. Good evening. Good hit, good hit. Jumped over that. Nice, we hit his chest right there. What's he doing, what's he doing, what's he doing? Got another hit, got another hit. Nice, we have him really low, we have him really low, we're doing good. Nope. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, alright. We're good. Where's he at? Where's he at? There you are. Nice, nice, nice. Jump over that laser. Beautiful, beautiful. Fire another one, fire another one. Nice, there we go. Oh, here we go. What's he doing? What's he doing? Looks like he's going melee only. All right, here we go. I can only target his freaking head. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Stun him. Expose his chest. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh my god! Alright. I gotta get ready for that. Yeah, his wings are down. His wings are completely down. Dodge out of the way. There we go, there we go. Alright, charge up the super missile fire! Perfect! That's all we need to do. Jump over that. Back up, back up. He's gonna do it again. Nice, there we go. Dude, this is freaking insane. <laughs> it's actually so much more fast paced than I remember. He's gonna go launch. There we go. Oh my god. Still got hit. Jump over that. Nice, there we go. He's gonna do it again. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice dodge work, nice dodge work. Oh, that wasn't good dodge work. There we go, there we go. Charge it up. I fire. Nice. We still got a little bit more to do. Ah. That laser is just so quick. I can barely dodge it. I can dodge this though. There we go. Finally. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We just need to stun him one more time. This guy's just being really stubborn. Come on. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. There we go. There we go. Finish. No, I missed it. I missed it. Crap. God, dude. My fingers are getting freaking cramped up. <laughs> Actually. Nice, there we go. Okay, this is it, this is it. Fire! 
We got it. Let's go. There we go. This transports us directly inside the impact crater to the heart of this problem. And uh, yeah, that takes care of Ridley for now. But man, I forgot how much of a freaking amazing boss fight Ridley is. So, so fast-paced and just absolutely like, I don't know, keeps you on your toes the entire time and I love it. But yeah, amazing boss fight with Ridley. But let's go ahead and head inside the impact crater. Here we are. This place already doesn't look uh, too inviting. <laughs> Very fleshy like. Let's go ahead and hit the save and uh, we'll decide what we can do. Alright, so yeah, here we are at the crater entry point. Straight from the Chozo Temple. But uh, as you can see, definitely not a nice place. So let's go ahead and keep on moving through. Oof, look at that. It's like phase on infused with. Limited data on unknown material available. Material is highly radioactive. You will take damage from direct contact. Mutagenic quality is at least 86% greater than Phazon. Unshielded bioforms below index level P will suffer fatality within moments. So this stuff is Phazon that's mutated into something even more deadly. Even our Phazon suit can't handle it. Alright, here we go. Just gotta keep on pushing through this area. And I don't have to be paranoid about uh, <laughs> finding any upgrades or anything like that. We are 100%. Just to make sure again, I love seeing that 100%. But yeah, we're good. Don't need to worry about anything. But we do have some more fission Metroids here. For these Metroids. These Metroids are a little bit more annoying. I don't, I, I honestly don't like these these types of enemies. They're a little too gimmicky. And they take a long time to kill, which is annoying, but it's a cool concept nonetheless though, the fission Metroid. There are quite a bit of them in here, so we're gonna have to deal with these guys quite a, li quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, here we have a much bigger open area. We have three doors that we can go through, or two doors. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of like bones and teeth-like things here. Very organic down in the impact crater, which is pretty strange, honestly. I don't remember it looking this way, and it's actually pretty surprising. Not to mention the ambience right now. It's like, I don't know, it's really glitchy. So it adds that really anxious feeling. It's, it's really well done, that's all I gotta say. Let's see what's through this room. Oh, it's another safe station, I think. Oh no, it's a missile station, okay. Get your ass back here, boy! Alright, let's just keep on moving. Got it. Oh, God! Yeah, I'm just gonna try and avoid these fishing much because it just seems like they're spawning. I'm just gonna be fighting these guys all day. Let's try and avoid these guys go bomb up here and i think with this we should be in the clear yeah here we go let's open this up whoa here we go this is it so good dude this everyone hold on I'll, I'll wait for the i'll hold the surprise for now looks like we gotta chase it let's keep on going go sam let's go all right here we are here we are and this is metroid prime the thing named after this game 
Morphology Metroid Prime, highly evolved Phazon producing life form. The aberration known as Metroid Prime is a source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods, only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra frigid breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and bark heart carapace make it lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. So it has the same thing as the Fission Metroids, we just, got, we just gotta hit it with the same beam its color is. But yeah, this is Metroid Prime. Oh god, alright, let's go. Let's do this. Take it out with the super missile. Perfect. Nice, there we go, there we go. I should change color now. Oof. Yeah, wave beam, here we go. Hit it with the wave buster. Oh. Jump over that. Should be almost down. Oh, dude, these sound effects are insane, bro. I'm actually like ducking my head, bobbing and weaving. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, what color, what color? Okay, we just gotta chase it. All right, here we go, here we go. Power beam, let's go. Oh my god. Just gotta keep on moving, keep on moving. Nice, there we go, there we go. Watch the color, watch the color. Oh god! Alright, that's the one thing I forgot. Every time we uh, get it to change color, we gotta go into more fun mode. It'll charge us throughout this whole uh, arena. Alright, I gotta try not to use Wave Buster too much. Wave Buster uses a lot of ammo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Alright, go under, go under. Perfect. There we go, there we go. Look at that, look at that. Alright. It's gonna change color, I think. Yeah, ice beam. Get in with the uh, ice spreader. Yeah! Beautiful, beautiful. And it freezes. Nice. Oh, that already. Wow, nice. Okay, there we go. Just heading deeper and deeper into the core. What now? What now? What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god! All right, we gotta watch out for that. I didn't even know. I forgot that was even an attack. Nice. There we go. There we go. All right, go under. Go under. Got his charge. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, what color? What color? Ice. All right. Deal with the ice spreader. Perfect. Nice! Ice Spreader is a one-shot, dude! Holy crap! Ice Spreader OP! Plasma Beam! Oh, it looks like it has different attacks for each of its, uh, colors. There it goes down. Go under. There we go, there we go. Bro, this is so freaking hype, dude! Come on, come on! What color, what color? Wave Beam! That should take care of that. Watch those missiles. Ah, jeez. Nice. There we go. There we go. Go under. Okay, here we go. Keep going, Samus. Get your back here, boy. All right, here we go. I don't know which one of these is the final phase. I'll just keep on fighting him, though. All right, one more shot should do it. His health bar is really low. I'm gonna fire the missile. Nice, one more shot, one more shot. Money shot. Boom. Let's go. Nice, this is it, this is it. Last phase. Go, Samus. Chase after him, let's go, let's go. What's going on? That's the true Metroid Prime right there. 
A core essence of Metroid Prime. The scan indicates that the Phazon energy form of Metroid Prime is invulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a Phazon fused arm cannon will damage it. It generates pools of Phazon when it attacks. Use these to fuel your suit's Phazon weapon system. The entity can also spawn Metroids to assist in battle, rendering itself invisible when it does so. All right. So all other weapons are no use against this thing. We gotta use these pools of Phazon at least behind. Just gotta wait for it to drop these pools though. This thing looks so freaking creepy, but so cool at the same time, man. But yeah, there's that pool of phase on. We gotta step into that. I think, yeah, yeah we gotta track it with the proper beam. Alright, where's the uh, pool? Here it is. Alright, here we go. Hyper mode, hyper mode, baby. Light it up, light it up, light it up. There we go, there we go. Oh, God, that freaking surge does so much damage. Literally cannot do anything besides that hyper mode. There we go, there we go. There's that next pool. I think, yeah, it's going into a new realm or new spectrum. Yeah, thermal mode. Here we go. We need to step into this pool. Dodge it. Oh my Bruh. god. No, what the heck? Here we go. Fart. Come on, come on. Light it up, light it up. There we go. Dude, that dodge, man, it's just so sensitive. When I want to jump, it doesn't let me jump. Okay, here's that next pool. It's drawing in some Hunter Metroids. Need the Ice Beam. Here we go. There we go, there we go. Back away, back away. Here we go, here we go. Light it up. Dude, that beam looks so nice. All right. Dude, look how huge this thing is, man. So freaking cool. Two Hunter Metroids, no problem. Take care of them both. There we go. Which one did it go to? Here we go. X-ray. Step into the pool. Light him up. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, nice. Alright, here's that next pool. Got some more Metroids though. There we go. Easy, easy money. Thermal vision. Step into the pool. Dodge that. Light it up. Nice, beautiful. All right, where's it at? There it is. Here's the pool, here's the pool. All right, light it up. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, one more pool and we should have it. Here we go, here we go. That last pool, baby. This is it. Just gotta deal with these boys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, where's it at, where's it at? Here it is, last pool, baby. Let's take it out. Perfect. We got it. Oh man, she looks so good, dude! The realistic look on Samus just looks so good.
There it is, everyone. Metroid Prime Remastered. Wow, man. Holy crap. What a freaking nostalgia trip, man. Game was an absolute treat. Absolute blast to play through once again for the third time. And honestly, this time it just felt like a whole new blind run again. I mean, besides knowing like the major important plot points of the game and like where most of the items were located, I was pretty much blind for most of uh, what was gonna happen. Like I didn't know what the next room would be or something like that. So it was definitely a really refreshing run for me. But man, it's just, it feels so good to be playing this game again. And I'm so glad to see it getting remastered for the Switch and hopefully it can get out there to, uh, to as many people as it can because the series absolutely deserves it. This game absolutely just nails it out of, like, hits it out of the park with storytelling, gameplay, the bosses, everything is just 10 out of 10. This game is still such a timeless masterpiece. The gameplay is always, at times it's slow, but that's mainly because you're just running around exploring. But when you're fighting the space pirates during boss fights, it is so fast paced and I can't commend the gameplay enough. It is just so good. Collecting the power ups. It's just it always feels so good in Metroidvanias, especially to, you know, keep on collecting, keep on getting stronger. And with this game, seeing those visual upgrades, I love seeing visual upgrades in games and being able to see them in here in this game. It's just so, so freaking cool and uh, just helps strengthen that fact that that you know you're getting stronger and man the music in this game dude even right now dude these credit this credit music so good the, the soundtrack for this game whoever the composer is i really need to look up who the composer is absolutely amazing job with the soundtrack man the soundtrack is absolutely banger but yeah storytelling man uh, i think i mentioned this before in my previous episodes the game does in a, a unique way of storytelling i mean i think it's been done before this game came out i think so at least uh but it uh instead of like you know blasting your face with cutscenes and directly telling you the story it gives you the option of uh you know if you actually want to know what happens throughout the whole game you can look at it yourself instead of being forced with cutscenes and whatnot so you can read the logs on your own time and honestly each log goes into intense detail so the story is there for people that want to know what the story is and so that's one thing that i love about this game is that even if you don't read the story the log books you still know a general sense of what's happening in the game and uh overall just amazing game 10 out of 10 masterpiece man i can't i can't commend this game enough and i can't really encourage the fact that you should just if you have not played this game and you have a switch you really need to go out and buy this game is it worth every every single dollar man i kind of want to talk about the uh the future this game might hold for the series and uh it definitely pushed the metroid series far beyond uh i think what nintendo was expecting because the marketing for this game was absolutely crazy and so i think that's that's another factor nintendo is pushing this game like it was a whole new release and that's honestly really really exciting to see because that that has hopes for me that uh maybe hopefully there's, there's no way they're not remastering uh prime 2 and prime 3 i really hope they do i have played prime 2 but i have not played prime 3 so i really hope they remaster prime 3 so i can get a blind run that would be really really fun to play because honestly all three of the prime games are really really good but prime 1 especially is the best out of all the three in my opinion so i really do think prime 2 and prime 3 will be coming to the switch in the near future Pro probably like in a year or two but uh, yeah definitely not anytime soon but for sure man i'm so glad that they remastered this game for the switch it looked absolutely beautiful man and i can't stress this enough the graphics for this remaster were top notch for the switch everything from you know rock textures to the grass to the water it all looked amazing it looked incredible especially for the switch standards it is just absolutely well done and uh yeah i really hope they remaster prime 2 and prime 3 because those games also look incredible even at, back on the wii and the gamecube they were way beyond their time and so they re seeing them remaster on the switch and the same way that prime 1 was remastered will be amazing to see 
But yeah, I think uh, I think I've said I think I've said enough about this game already. I've I've praised it enough. I don't think there's anything else I can say about it really. Amazing last boss fight with the Metroid Prime. That uh, that last boss fight, especially with Ridley right before that fight, it's just like a perfect hike machine. Ridley was such an amazing fight that moving directly into Metroid Prime was just absolutely icing on the cake. That fight was amazing. And you know, getting that hyper beam right at the last second, really giving you the really giving the player and Samus just that that maximum burst of power it was amazing. So we did get 100%. We did log or scan all of the uh, important scans, which I think is important to getting the secret ending, which I think might play after these credits. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, we did get we did. We got everything. We got all the missile expansions 250. We ended up with 250. We got all the power bomb expansions. We ended up with eight, which we needed to. We got all the beam combos from the super missile, wave buster, ice spreader to the flamethrower. We got everything. And so, including all the important blog scans. So, we'll see. I'm pretty sure we should get the secret ending. Because I do want to show you guys the secret ending. It's actually, it's pretty cool. Sets up a lot for Prime 2 and Prime 3. So, we'll see after these credits. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just let these roll. And I'll uh, show you guys, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the scene shows. If it doesn't, I'm going to be pretty mad. But, we'll see. Here we go. So, just show us some of uh, our completion rate. Another job all done for Samus. Another planet saved. Mission final percentage complete. 100% baby. And we unlocked hard difficulty. I'll definitely be playing through this again on my own, man. I This game, I just can't get enough of this game. But yeah, hopefully, let's see if that secret ending shows up. Ooh, yeah, here we go, here we go. all right man that'll do it so yeah that was the secret ending for getting 100 percent basically showing that the phase on is not completely out of the picture for this series and that basically setting up uh dark samus for the later games which hopefully i'm praying to nintendo we get prime 2 and prime 3 remastered because dark samus is genuinely a pretty cool villain a hard one unlocked yeah there we go and so i'll go ahead and take a look at the extras too while i just wrap up the episode here but yeah, that just sets up Dark Samus for the later games. We have Concept Gallery here, Biology. Oh, okay, it shows the original and remastered, okay. So yeah, here's a little look at uh, the original Samus. The original Samus design on GameCube. Man, I remember looking at this stuff on the emulator. Dude. <laughs> man, this is so cool to look at. Dude, I'm getting such huge nostalgia, man. It's so cool. I always love seeing concept art. And this is something I miss from modern day games is uh, like what they used to do back then, you know, giving you extra stuff for beating the game and going above and beyond. Let's take a look at the remastered. So yeah, here's Samus. Here's the gunship. Yeah, Samus's gunship, the Parasite Queen. Man, all of this stuff just looks so good for the remastered, dude. They put so much effort, man. It's just so good, man. But yeah, this will do it. Metroid Prime Remastered. Such an absolute blast, and I hope you guys enjoyed every second of it as much as I did. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope you will stick around for later series to come. Next up, I was planning on doing Resident Evil 4, but I think I'll put that on hold because I do want to make sure I'm ready for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I really, really want to make sure I start that game on time and just, you know, I, that's one game I've been waiting for for so long and so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that one guys And so with that out of the way Thank you all so much for sticking with me throughout this whole series And thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it Be sure to leave a like and hey while you're at it Why not subscribe for more videos just like this until next time? I'll see you all in the next video